our coverage on this though. A lot of elements here. Today actually marks the first full day following that executive order. Our KFOX 14 morning news reporter Margo Lepe joining us live now along the border to show us how the last 24 hours have looked here in El Paso. What things are looking like this morning, which has often been at the center of the migrant situation in our area. Margo. And Mayor Oscar Leeser is in support of what President Biden is doing, saying this migrant order benefits everyone in our community. Now, as we've been standing here over the last several hours, we've seen several Border Patrol units and DPS driving through the gate right behind me, as this is an area known for a very popular area for migrant crossings. And you can see here at what border spots like the one that we're standing at have looked like over the last several months. Mayor Oscar Leeser talked about all of this while in Washington, D.C. yesterday. He says this order will save lives, keep people from dying in the desert, jumping over the walls and falling, and keep them from being exploited. He also said he believes this will allow for order in our community as it will push those seeking asylum to go through proper measures to come into the country. This type of reinforcement could force asylum seekers to consider difficult traveling through tough environments such as the desert in the summer months. The mayor expressed his gratitude and said this type of reinforcement also is beneficial for our community in the long haul. And one of the things I'm, again, very thankful to the administration, they've given us the funding. It's not come to the back of the local taxpayers. You would bankrupt a city like El Paso. We couldn't do it. So it's very important that we continue to work together and find ways and avenues. Another point Mayor Leeser also touched on about this migrant order is that those seeking asylum and who are granted access into the U.S. lawfully could benefit our economy as they will contribute to the workforce. Reporting along the border, Margot Lepe, the KFOX 14 Morning News.